quick story time. Uh, we went with the neighbors uh, to the city center last night. <laughs> And we had a drink and something to eat, uh, my female neighbor and her daughters. And when we came back home, I was like supposed to go to sleep. I wa tried to watch one episode of anime, but my laptop was too hot for that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sleep. I tried to went to sleep. And uh, I remember that I watched my, I looked at my phone and I was like, okay, what time is it? It was 3.30 exactly after two thunders and few lightning went off so it was really really scary time because i woke up and i was like my hand on my chest super calm super stoic waiting for the you know the sound to come after the lightning i'm not sure if the lightning woke me up or the thunder before that i'm not sure what happened what was first what was last and uh as, as I opened my eyes, like, I don't know, someone pressed a button on me or something. I opened my eyes, I saw the lightning going away and then the most loudest, biggest thunder that I ever heard in my life, like, spread it all over the beach house and I could hear it, like, like, the sound, how to say, it was, like, covering the whole house and all the windows were shaking from the door that I'm entering all the time in the woods as well and I was like, oh my god, is this actually happening above me? What's going on? I, am I going to die now? <laughs> it was really interesting and um, it lasted for a sound few minutes. I couldn't fall asleep immediately, of course, because I think there were multiple clouds like going through the same area and after two, three thunders from the same capacity, then I heard some further away like lighter ones, not so heavy. And then another cloud came that was also very, very <sighs> sound and big and uh, yeah. Today I didn't went to the beach in the morning because it was too cold. And I woke up at 11.45 Yeah, and uh, But I feel rested and right now it's like really really sunny It's like bright It's getting warmer and warmer Some clouds are above of course But on the other side it's like pretty pretty dark And you know dark blue just about to rain And I'm not sure should I go or not but maybe I would just go and try to read a book or something and if the water is not that cold I will actually go in But we'll see about that later. See you soon! Hello guys, it's me again. I just wanted to pop up and say that the first vlog is out already and shout out to my Habibi, you know who you are. I know you enjoyed the video and uh, I'm trying to do another one, so wish me luck, I hope it goes well. Today I'm going to uh, the bus station to buy my tickets to one city close to this one and meet my friends for my birthday and of course to hang out with them because we didn't see each other, all three of us, since last Christmas so it's been a long time and uh, I will probably film a little bit because it's a little bit uh, embarrassing for a new vlogger <laughs> that doesn't know how to do it um, to walk around the city and uh, with the tripod in hand if uh, the video is shaky I probably make it with my phone only without the tripod but I will do my best to deliver the best quality I can and it's possible right now. So, uh, bus station, walking around the beach alley, showing you how the city looks. I will buy the tickets and after that I will go have lunch probably in the city, um, in one pizza area, that, uh, pizza place that I have never been because they didn't have dough last time when we were with my bestie there. So, yeah, I would try a second time. We went actually very late in, night, in the night, so I guess that was the reason. And um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna pop there and then I'm going to the, the actual city center which is kind of on a hill on the top 
so it's like um, alley the whole beach coast and you go up you have the hill and then the city center is there the shops the um, also pharmacy the only one the square beach bars oh, I mean beach bars they are not on the beach but they're bars and stuff like that uh, shops and I don't know what else yeah museum bookstore everything is there so I'm gonna there gonna go there probably have coffee or something but I will try to do the walk that was supposed to be uh, done every Wednesday which is Oculo Torno which means around the tower and um, if I translate it correctly I guess it is what it is yeah I'll check it out and uh, during the day I have some footage from the night but it was so hectic and there were so many people out there and in one of the video probably you'll see that there is like 30 seconds me trying to film their like um, traditional singers and one guy is just immediately coming into my frame and after I finished and stopped the video he started screaming hey, something something and he started to sing or I don't know, communicate with someone, I'm not sure. So, yeah, that was that. And, uh, of course, I'm going to the beach today and I really hope it doesn't rain because right now there's some clouds behind the palma tree and I really hope it doesn't in the afternoon because so far it only rained in the night. Fingers crossed. And, yeah, that's it for now. See you soon. Bye! Also guys, this is not the only way that you can get to the center, there is like a beach alley that you can walk also and uh, see the bars around and reach the center as well, but I chose to use the street that is just in front of the beach house. So this is the beginning of the bridge that is next to the old marina and it's leading to the store, the Lidl and also there is like roundabout where all the traffic is getting so yeah so guys this is the view from the marina on the left is located the uh, city same, like central beach kind of place where most of the people are going. There is not lots of shade but there is like a lot of attractions and a lot of places to eat, restaurants, hotel, hotels, bars and many more stuff. You will see. And this right here is a platform for jumping into the sea because there are not many rocks around. Hello guys, it's me again. Um, I just came back from the beach and I'm still with my swimsuit which is wet and um, I'm still covered with salt so I just wanted to film something quickly because I honestly forget and uh, the thing is that the last few days I have some footage from me going around the city and uh, filming the other part of the beach and the coast and a place where I swam there and back <laughs> yeah 
it's like a small island, it's called San Marino and it was really scary and uh, yes, in it, the water was cold, there were some few boats passing around and some people on paddle boards and kayaks and everything and only few were swimming there and back with snorkel, snorkel or goggles or without anything so I was one of them as well um, but that happened, when was it? I don't know which date during the week and um, yes I had pizza and a beer I had a really lovely lunch and bathed swam to the San Marino and back and um, the day after I don't know what I was doing I had a really nice time with the neighbors and uh, her kids one of her kids we were swimming a lot and yesterday and I was really really tired so I didn't film anything I was just chatting with them and having a fun time and tonight I'm planning to go to the city and film a little bit at how it looks the center through the night I'll go to the city and buy probably a new sunscreen walk around the city in the night film something uh, have dinner because I have to empty the fridge and stuff like that um, tomorrow I'm going to the city next and uh, close by and I'm going to meet my friends, the trio. We are going to have a nice time and um, I don't know, some bait, drink, party. I hope we'll find a nice place with music so we can dance our ass off and I get on stuff. Um, I can't wait for that and uh, yes, it's my party as well. Uh, so yes, today, short story from today. Today I was swimming and uh, I did a little bit of snorkeling because the water was semi-clear and uh, what happened like one of the things is that um, I actually saw a lot of fishes uh, swimming around me and uh, it felt like I was in an aquarium and they were like passing right in front of my eyes and it was really nice um, yesterday another story about the fishes me and my fishes I'm like I'm so in love with them we just like buying from Decathlon this this mask and the snorkel was the best investment ever because I'm obsessed with them and uh, yesterday I was like um, on the rope where is like um, the border where you can see where you should swim and after that it's like jet ski um, fishing boats uh, yachts and other stuff that can pass around so on that road you have like little bit of seaweed little bit of um, small shells and different creatures and organisms so I was there hanging out and I was like like standing there like a small bird and in one point I just noticed that under me they were like gathered lots of lots of many fishes and I was like oh my god I have to take my goggles and see them so how close they are actually I swam to the shore and back and when I saw them they were like so close you can see them going through the edge and like catching the stuff that were falling out from that rope and it was like so amazing it was like I'm one of them I'm a mermaid I can see them and we can swim together it was, it was really nice and today's sad story about the fishes uh, I saw one fish I think I will call him Ringo or her because I was trying to catch it but I couldn't because and I knew that when I soon as I go up and remove my snorkel so I can dive with my mask and try to grab the fish he will run away and he did and I lost him but the fish had like a small ring this is the first time I see something like that I only saw it on certain pictures on the internet and you know save the turtles kind of thing uh, but it was like a ring and I'm not sure was it metal or plastic but I would say it's metal because because it looked kind of heavy on him and he was only swimming on middle part layers and the bottom of the sea and uh, he couldn't move his fins from the side but only the back one and it was a little bit slower than the others and I, was, I wanted to save him but it seems like either the ring got seaweed and other things on it before he got caught in it or after I'm not sure and it looked like on the top and the bottom the wound was already in his body and it was like just need a little bit of twisting probably I don't know I don't know if I could have saved him but he was okay he was swimming I just hope that someone that finds him will free him 
and he was swimming properly. Yeah. So, uh, now what I'm going to do while the water is getting warmer and warmer, I'm going to fix myself a lunch and make another coffee and read the, one of the books. Let me show you the book. So, book update. This one is the romantic one, you know. I'm in the middle, but it doesn't go. <laughs> it just. I don't know, it's not so interesting to me and it's too slow. Like the pace in the way it's written, it's too slow for me right now. So I I started reading something simultaneously, as you do when you have so many days off. Uh, and I started another one, which I started when I was like uh, still at work. Yeah, it's called Pulse. It's from Gail McHugh, I think. It's it starts with a sexy thing da, 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 da. so they are both in creation and this goes pretty fast i should see that small part is what is left and uh, it's like 50 shades of gray but not really it's like second book from another series um and i don't know the story behind their meeting but it, this is after their breakup and uh finding their way back to each other, but it's really interesting and it seems a little bit more um, life-orientated, not only sex-orientated, so I like it. It has humorous phrases and conversations as well. So while the outside is still very hot and while I'm eating, I will read a little bit more with the coffee and after that, around 3.34, I will go to the beach again and have a swim and um, yeah. I think I got some tan lines as well. I don't know if you can see slightly. Yeah, finally getting there. Um, yes, and if I don't forget, I will film also what is happening in the center. So yeah, I will show you my view and I'm going to it. Bye. I also got some neighbors roommates and they're coming from here i tried to stop them but they're still coming i guess when i go they will go away too and here is a time lapse how i make my lunch in my swimwear <laughs> i did some eggs with a little bit of cheese i believe i made coffee in the same time so it can get uh, cold enough right temperature for drinking cheddar I decided to mix something that I usually do when I have no other ideas, beans, red kidney beans with some peanuts, yeah, it was delicious, instead of salt. Hey guys, it's me again, and yeah, skincare update, um, don't forget to put some after sun, I'm using this one, it's from last year, and when it comes to after the sun stuff, I rarely, like often, I mean, forget to use anything. But trust me, and thank me later, when you get out of the shower, just put something moisturizing and um, hydrating on your skin after you take a shower. And tell me how you feel. Just remember and tell me how you feel. You're welcome. I'm going to do it now and so the skin and going to read a bit relax and then going for a second round of swimming bye so of course i swam and i sunbathed and i didn't film anything because i was too busy enjoying myself but i managed to film some of my torture while i was going up to the center on the stairs and this is just halfway and Almost the whole center looks like that. Also, the light was horrible. because there were kids playing in the background but this is uh, typically the walk during the 
event okolo torno uh, so these are the streets that you are going around usually when it's that event on Wednesday there's like pop-up stores and they are selling like cheese wine uh, different types of spirits rakia and uh, other drinks and uh, handcrafted stuff like jewelry and um, different toys paintings food medicine skincare everything and this is the view that i was eating my dinner once twice Hello guys, it's me again. I realized that I don't have an outro for this last vlog and since we arrived to the island we just hang out together, went to one place to eat. And we waited for a really long time <laughs> but it was worth it because we could sit all together and have a decent food for lunch and um, yeah. It is really nice. And yeah, I'm back in Zagreb. I don't know if you can tell. I can barely find a place where I can film without any noise. So now you get a pantomime and a voice note in the form of ASMR. Don't forget to comment, like, share maybe with your friends. And I don't know, I was just chilling in my room, listening to music, trying not to be awkward. Ah, hit the subscribe button. Yes, of course, that's what I wanted to say. And what else? Yeah, hmm. this is a different outro, but I guess it will work. I hope you had a nice summer and that you enjoyed yourself and that you had a nice time relaxing and that you're gonna get that bag this year and then you're gonna be yourself and enjoy yourself. Bye. I send a word better reach. Wearing prosperous bees. Only hurl at my peace.